there's a chance the current swept some of these power sources onto the ocean floor. Maybe between the two wrecks? Another battery. That should be it. Focus picked up coordinates from that transmission I found. If there's more shipwrecks there, one might have an intact sensor. still around. It'd be a faster way to get to those coordinates I found. Well, that ship has an antenna with a dreadwing perched on it. Great. Gonna have to deal with it before I can look for the sensor the Quen need.
Sun roasted him. Okay, I should be able to check out that antenna now. Niet veel ik kan. Get in the air. Oh. An intact sensor unit. This should be all that Harry and Christia need. It looks like there's one more transmission in here. This is the Hamilton. Anchorage, your transmission has been received. Targeting the lead, Horus! Just lost the starboard missile battery. Can't fire. We're empty. Damn it. Captain, there's nothing left to fire. Your orders. Set a course for the Horus chassis. Ramming speed. Yeah, me good on here. She give missiles on the It's never a happy ending, is it? Nou, eerst even terug naar hun.
back, Harriam. You seen Diviner Nerik lately? Okay. I don't. I found what you need. <sighs> Thank you. I'll get working on the gyro compass immediately. I'm coming home, Meandra. <sighs> You've done us a great kindness, Aloy. Christia is not the only one with people waiting back home. She'll be able to fix that gyro compass in no time. We'll never be able to thank you enough. But this should be a start. If you need anything, tell Bohai to contact Alva. I'm sure she can help. May the ancestors steer us true. I can't believe we're actually going home. <laughs> First, we need to put this thing together. Living end. Not okay. Next. Kijken of we het om kunnen vinden. Sky. Must be a Cyclops drone. How to get its data. Have to jump onto that drone to get it down. Okay, gotta grab the drone's data. Naar de wc.
Boom. Boom neerzetten. Geen als het nog niet verder gaat. Helaas. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silens, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Xenoth base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh no, you first. <laughs> Better get everyone in the control room so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? There we go. All drones are reconnected to the dome now. All right, people. I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. 
How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. <laughs> All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. <coughs> Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? Let's put my next stuff D in the duck cup. You too? Which one I get? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. Uh, I'd like to know. Weapon to the Zenith base intact if we want to take <coughs> their shields down. I'll be gentle with it, I promise. Good. Without it, there's no payback. Don't worry. Payback's all I think about. Aloy, aren't we meeting at the beach near the. We are. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take. I can hear the drinking song. Doesn't look like any of our... Yet. So, uh, I've been busting my bolts trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the... Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. Looking forward to it. <laughs> if that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. 
Save my butt with those spectres. Wouldn't feel right to leave it behind now. You know, besides, it, uh, now it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. Wow. Faro made the right call. You know. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. I found out a few days before you guys went to the Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, so he sat me down for a drink. Just one, mind you. Vala, Ursa, La. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the Embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got around to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though, if you're up for it. I guess silence is keeping to- I was hoping you'd give me an excuse to ha- Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. You, uh, talked to- I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that eye. And you say she wants to help? I think so. You... Yeah? Oh. So, how did... <laughs> well, uh, see, during the war, the Karja threw up, you know, for what? To die as sacrifice, thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other giraffes. Ah! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. They even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a serf. He enjoyed you. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so he got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. Now you have perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh man, Ursa would have rather fought with her bare hands than put on. But Avad insisted it was the only way. Avad had to dress up as well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a bay. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever... That would, uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the... They paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. <sighs> you were right. All good stories. I... I'll see you with the... I wouldn't have it. Mm. Aloy. Fighting the Zenith. Nothing you do ever. At least... Thanks. Everyone here, if it weren't for Varl... You know... There was this one night, he realized I was having trouble sleeping. To be honest, I think we both were. So... He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there. Just... Looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. Ready to head over to the- Whatever comes. Have you talked to- Aaron and I tried, but apparently our- Charming isn't- How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost, but he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness come. <laughs> you and Aaron seem to be- He may have terrible taste in music, and that ale he keeps raving about isn't half- I still plan on beating that stubborn face of it. Try not to hurt him. Thoughts on our new- I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells- She's more like a cold piece of metal. She's- I should go. Before you do- What is it? You place this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So? Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back. You 
in her. I'd be lying if I said I'm. The plan will work. Right. Once all this is over. I don't know. The more I think about it, if I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me. Or what they'd do to me for re Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as- Would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried a- Would I dare challenge them and- Or- Who's this Federa you mentioned? She- Is- We used to be rivals and- <laughs> I hated her guts. But apparently there's a fine line but We became very close. And she promised she'd wait for me. No matter how- Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. Are you okay? I was wondering. She seems ang- Don't worry. We're going to point that anger at the Zeniths. If you say- I hope our- The Silence. He's the- He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer. He refuses to dole out his secrets to- Oh. You know that- Special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming. Our spirit? Yeah. Yeah. I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Okay. Whatever happens, I'm grateful. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an it. Come on, do I look that old? Katalo will protect you. I'm not afraid. I know Katalo will fulfill his if we die doing so. At least rather you both will try and keep that in I suppose you saw that Tilda's I almost went up to her to ask her well every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one but now that she's here all I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truth probably both the rest of us zeniths for you to hack into their net but you'll have to be quick uh, what exactly do you I don't know I need to- I'll be at the wrong- My truth leader. Mm. Did you need something? Yeah. Move for. Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. <laughs> I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seemed modest success. Okay, so your big plan... Everything you've been manipulating for the last few months? Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zeniths from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question or are you- So all this time, even before I you were out here scheming, why couldn't you just... When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out... I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice. No Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from at the Hades proving line. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades proving lab. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you, thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more important. So you really didn't know they had their own clone? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I- Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkers. They were a necessary safeguard. The Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could exit all while remaining anonymous. Tell me about the weapon. I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. <sighs> that doesn't fall. No, but I'd be a fool. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drug? Yes, even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is now. 
Why help Regala take over? If you wanted it- Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier. Yeah. All Regala craved was war. Against the- she would have led the tribe into battle without which was precisely what I- While I was out there, I had a couple- The tribe from across the ocean. Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined- Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greater from the ancient world, and what did they do? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mist, creating a pantheon out of- Yes, well- Did it now? So those run-ins, on one of them I teamed up with their expedition. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain. Like what you did with Hades. For a start. <laughs> All right, Silent. I'll let you know when it's... And I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're... For someone to live as long as she has, out like... Well, your goals may be aligned, now. Not... Yeah, I'm aware. Survival is only a necessity to my... I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this... Oh, a feeling. You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. Who's she? Yeah? I was thinking we could spar for a bit. When you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. There might be a way to deal with my... There you are. Well done, Aloy. Despite my... You're truly a shining example. I've been thinking about what you said. At your house. It was more than that. Perceptive as ever. Okay, so... I was an orphan. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that would... And then I met Liz. It says we'd have coffee at some point. I thought it was just shop talk. But... Then I would... Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to... For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I think Liz felt the same way. She had lost her mother a few years back. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I and So helping me, restoring a second chance. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. So when I saw you, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. You said before that you're not that you never were. But you went along with all out of necessity. Both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius... I did what I had to, to try to undo what damaged... Hence the data channel with Beta. And the little trick I pulled... Why did you make the data... I built that house as a shelter to... A safe place, not just for me. Cultural artifacts of, in truly, some of the greatest achievements of human... And you wanted Beta to... Yes. I thought if she could experience Vermeer, it would bring something else in. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and tech data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret. She needed its shelter, even... Why do you think Elizabeth... I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant. She cared so deeply for the world. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including... She never wanted to share her burdens. I think, in the end, she had... Sometimes I wonder if anyone really... I found a recording of you after Farzineth's attempt to steal... Yes. She... said something... after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? Thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said, and that her last impression of me was as a function, not who I truly... What else can we expect to find? As I mentioned in the briefing, that's where Beta and Gaia are. There are also printing facilities where the other the natural resources they've stripped. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure, and then to fab a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship. After hundreds of years, 
luxuriate comforts. The ship was barely space worthy when we disaster can strike at any moment. Have you figured out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful. I'll admit it bothers me, but we're I am confident it will deactivate the other shields on mass. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Ooh. Only a handful of us made it to. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient, I saw another one of the Zeniths. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of. Unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amass their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had achieved great success. At age 24, she became the world's most el branding herself a someone who leverages their fame to one. Like a In a way, yes. Well, she must have done something right. She was her own brand of ruthless. But even rats can cling to a When I was in the ruins of Vegas, I found data on a man named I think he was a Zenith. Stanley. Ever the optimist. When we established our colony, he built an exact rep. Lights, shows, gambling, every day. And while others cloistered themselves in their own family, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back. No, he perished. He would have been thrilled to discover that part of his beloved city. What can you tell me about? He was the head of the, and as such, had dealings with almost every mate. It made him one of the wealthiest, and certainly, the well what does one person do with them buy more more power more influence gerard's always believed himself able to maintain control with a but beneath that exterior is a it was his decision to restrict the avatars of the apostle while we were painted well we'll deal with him soon enough i would very much like to see his face so eric i believe he got worse over time on a band of cutthroats in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in f He found success with clientele that required a more. There were also rumors that he personal all for the thrill of it. But on Sirius, he retreated to v In them, he could go on ramp, though I suspect with All of his tribe believes he was one of the great. Then they would be quite disappointed, though I'm sure he'd bask in the. Okay, so I've had an array of the wealthiest people on earth. Type. And let me guess, all selfish and most, but not all. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Merjani, for instance, was always she founded the Holonet's most successful. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Zhao. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievement. But then there were others like Devin Miller. This his only real preoccupations were perfecting his goal. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. Okay. I'll be here until- And thank you, Aloy. My past is always more than once. I see Liz's dream for- Maybe we can make it happen. We will. Oh, uh, before I forget, I watered those plants for you. Oh. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. Hmm. Haven't seen you since the battle. I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten. I would say that I am... Thank you, I guess. It is I. Who... All that remains is to follow you to the end. We're lucky to have you on our side. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm. Before we leave on our mission. Right. Thank you. Things will get up. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we will endure on there. Though, I am curious how you in without an army of our... Leave that to me. As you say. Now that trick... The bulwark and how we need another mirror. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will... N Look... But I want her on our side. It is more than she deserves. Thank you, Catalo. We didn't really get to talk. There was nothing. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him among the most distinguished. When the fight is, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin. I'm sure he'd be honored. 
Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... Honestly, with her? Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines and leapt into battle from the s for us. To imitate this, it is why the challengers leap into the end now. <laughs> like the deeds of so? I won't lie. I can only imagine. I'll see you soon then. It will be my. <coughs> be magic. There's Gwen stuff in here now. Must be all of us. I'm uh, gonna clean my gear later. I can do yours. This place smells oh. wrong. And the others up there. You're they can hold their own. And as for this... Call it what it is. You came here on your own. For the battle you promised. So for now I wait in my cage for your word. The whole time I've been in the West, I'd at least like to know why... You were among the enemy. Why did you do it? Dorok. And the Karja pushed into the... My brother's squad. But the Karja captured... It was too late. So you wanted vengeance? Vengeance. To tear down the cars you hunt down every last of us. But my chief betrayed me. How did he come? Fashav told me how he became a marshal. He earned it just like... It was an insult. And then a cars your messenger was brought... That's when I knew. I had to run... Rag his treacherous corpse. What happened when the cars... A quivering priest bore a message from their new king. Suddenly, the Karja wanted to talk peace. A true Tanakh? Their blood exists to be still. He showed himself a Karja loving truth. And lost. His mercy. I vowed never to rest until the. So, with an army of. The day you got him. The deal you made. How did Silence approach you? That name means nothing to me. So, all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted a group of outlanders? If it was a trick, I would have crushed them. But they offered me the chance to run the car. The terror in your enemies, I bet you felt it. I don't think so. What about your end of the deal? Had I killed a Karo and become chief, these Zeniths would have been the fight because of you. Because of me? Hundreds of Tanakh will- <laughs> Are you really- I have no reason to betray- Really? I failed. The cars you remain out of my. All I have left are the. So show. All right. Ever since you. But if I'm to. Then it might. I'll let you know when it's. No. I have. Even. Aangezien ik even moet opfrissen en dan. Mm -hmm. oh, my fingers feel stiff in this cold. Joe. 